We all may have been told that we have a striking resemblance with someone we don't know of, but it's perhaps safe to say this does not subject us to harassment and even threats on a daily basis. However, for 33-year-old entrepreneur Abdul Rashid Mahmoud, looking like the embattled chief executive of the defunct gold dealership Men's Gold, Nana Pia Mensa, he has been robbed of his freedom daily. Well, George Quinn spent a day with him and our reports. Circle. I took a wrong turn and then another police traffic, like, personnel stopped me. The first thing, when he just came in front of the car, the first thing he said was, Ah! Do you know what you want Ah! Oh, the car will be busy. An initial glimpse of Abdul Rashid Mahmoud will not give room to think twice whether his Nana Pia Mensa, popularly known as Namwan. The controversies and associated bad blood surrounding the name Namwan has been inherited by the 33-year-old entrepreneur for no fault of his but a striking resemblance. I feel I'm trusted, so that's why I decided to voice out so that people might know me and then also, you know, stop harassing me here and there. Because of that, I don't, I don't go out that much. He has literally been robbed of his social life. This salah, I got down with uh, my um, African wear. So one said, ah, any on me. Then the other one said, ah, nani bodyguard wear. So this my friend got down with a hat like this national security guys. So the moment he just came to the other side, one said in Hausa, the one she you, yeah, be your kudina. And luckily enough, I understand Hausa too. So when he just said that, I told him that man, Bashibani, like in Hausa, he's not the one. Because what you are thinking? <laughs> they were planning that if I'm the one, then they will beat me that day and take their money. If not, that they will take the car in Hausa. So I just quickly told him that I'm not the one. There has never been a day in his usual trips abroad that he has not been delayed by immigration officials. Airport made me realize that I have to voice out because someone's image cannot yeah, exactly. just suppress mine and I can't even travel. Uh, everybody would board a plane. I have to sit. When you ask them what they are looking for, they will not tell you. All they can tell you is that um, we, are, we are checking something, we are checking something. So one day I just told the lady there that near yes. Oshano or a Christian, maybe a Muslim. So <laughs> what you are looking for, I know it. Interestingly, he shares the same birthday with Namwan, May 16, and on that day, most posts of his are deleted by Facebook on reports that his post goes against community standards on spam. Though the situation has had a toll on him psychologically, Abdul fears for his life as he's always apprehensive of what awaits him aside the numerous harassments. Admitting that he's not financially stable to high security, he's currently managing with few friends as escorts when he really needs to step out. Well, it's no fault of Abdul Rashid Mahmoud that it looks like Namwan. We all know the story that surrounds Namwan. But what really is the problem is the ordeal and humiliation he goes through on a daily basis. It's no fault of his. It's mistaken identity. Well, he wants to, you know, leave his hair and even change his lens so that resemblance can be taken off. Let's see how that pans out. From East Legon, Josh Quinnin reporting for TV3.